The judge banged on the table. Attention in the court. Mr. and Mrs. Chaim Simkovich are sentenced to Siberia for 10 years of hard, brack baking labor. In Siberia, it's a very cold place in Russia, and the Russians who hated the Jews would send Jews for doing nothing wrong to Siberia and do backbreaking labor inside labor camps. So Mr. and Mrs. Chaim Simkovich, they took a two-day train ride being forced to go to Siberia, and they were brought to the forced labor camp. So the first day that all the Jews were brought to Siberia, the Russian guard brought together all the Jews into the square, and he made an announcement. He said, Jews, I know it's going to be Sukkot soon. And on Sukkot, I know that you Jews like to build these tents, and I'm telling you that if anybody builds one of these tents, they will be killed on the spot. There will be no sukkahs in Siberia. So Chaim Simkovich was very upset that he couldn't build a sukkah this year. So he came home and he told his wife, he said, I'm building a sukkah anyway. He said, I see that Hashem sent me to Siberia and he wants me to be in this situation and I'm going to build a sukkah anyway. And his wife says, you know, you're crazy. It's Pekuach Nefesh, the guard's going to shoot you on the spot. If you build a sukkah, you're going to get shot and it's going to be over. You're not going to be able to sit in the sukkah anyway. He says, no, I'm building a sukkah. That's it, I'm building a sukkah. So Chaim took these, uh, these big boards and they had these little shacks that everybody used to live in. Everybody had this small shack that they would live in. And Chaim took these big boards and he built them in front of his house, a small little shack and he put schach on top, and he was very happy. Now he had his sukkah. So as you can imagine, a couple hours later, the Russian guard came, and he said, you stupid Jew, are you crazy? We just gave this whole speech that you can't build a sukkah on sukkahs, and now you go build a sukkah, I'm going to shoot you right on the spot and kill you, that's it. Are you crazy? I just told you not to build a sukkah, and you're building a sukkah anyway. So he says, sukkah, are you crazy? Do you think I would build a sukkah after that speech you gave? I would never build a sukkah. I'm not building a sukkah, but you know, it's freezing here in Siberia. And there's a big draft that comes into my house, and it's very cold. So I'm building another room in front of the house, and there'll be two doors. And this way I'll have double doors that'll block the draft from coming into my house. Are you crazy? You think I would build a sukkah after that speech you gave five minutes ago? I'm not building any sukkah. So the Russian guard thinks for a minute, and he goes, wow, that's a good idea, Jew boy. I think we should all do that. And all the Jews came running over, and they said, oh, wow, really? Yeah, if we build this room in front of the house, then that'll block the cold air from coming in, and then it'll keep the house warmer. And everybody, all the Jews in the whole camp came over and said, yeah, we also want to build these shacks that's going to stop all the cold air from coming into the house. And that year in Siberia, everybody in that uh, camp had a sukkah. So we see from this story that sometimes if somebody is most nefesh should do a mitzvah and he goes beyond the call of duty to do a mitzvah, then Hashem will give him the merit and the schus that everybody in the entire city will be able to do the mitzvah of sukkah.